Stayallday.com. You are now tuned into the show where you learn the discipline to show up day after day to do the work, the confidence to put yourself out there boldly and authentically, and the mental toughness to continue showing up, doing the work, putting yourself out there, even when the success you've expected to achieve is yet to be achieved. And on top of all this, you get a huge dose of personal initiative. That is the go-getter energy that moves any one of us, including yourself, to go and make things happen instead of waiting for things to happen. And then we put this together into a series of frameworks, approaches, insights, strategies, and techniques all underneath the umbrella of one unified philosophy that is called work on your game. My name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre All Day, and welcome to the show. And today's topic is how to turn every situation to your advantage. Now, before we get into that, let me tell everybody that I have a daily motivation text message, just a free text message that I send out every single day to everyone who's in my text community, a message that is guaranteed to keep you focused, sharp, and on point if you would like to receive that message. And let me prove to you that what I just told you does actually happen. It's going to keep you focused, sharp, and on point every day. All you got to do is text me at my text number which is 305-384-6894. Send a text to that number right now. The next daily motivation text that comes out, which will be either this morning if you're early enough, but if it's past the morning, then you'll get it tomorrow. And you can actually respond to any one of those texts and you'll be communicating directly with me. So that number's down below in the show notes. Send a, send a text to that number and you'll be in my text community immediately and you'll be getting that daily motivation text every day. So this topic here, how to turn every situation to your advantage. This topic here today is really about opportunism. It's about the mindset of opportunism and being able to see the opportunities and advantages within every situation you face. Opportunism, in case uh, those of you not familiar with the term, is the taking of opportunities as and when they arise, regardless of planning or principle. In other words, it is uh, the way I would describe opportunism, if I had to put it into uh, layman's terms, is thinking on your toes. You're on your toes and ready to move. Any of you who plays has ever played a sport, that sometimes they call it the athletic stance. And the athletic stance is basically you want to have your knees over your toes, your weight is forward, and you are poised to take action. You're poised to move when you see an opportunity. Basketball players use this stance. Football players use it. Baseball players use it. And, uh, track athletes. When track athletes are getting ready to run, you notice that they all they get into that athletic stance, even though their hands are touching the ground, is to get ready. They are poised to spring into action. That's what being an opportunist is. It's poised to spring into action, and, and this is a, more on the mental side than the physical side. Looking around and being ready to notice when opportunity shows itself so that you can take advantage of it when it shows up and you don't have to get ready because you stay ready. All right, that's what opportunism is. It's the mindset of staying ready for the opportunity that may show up even though you don't even know if an opportunity will show up or what that opportunity would be if it does show up. That's what the mindset of opportunism is and seeing it when you see it and then also looking for it and maybe even creating it if it doesn't exist. That's what today's topic is about. So we can even call this opportunism. Maybe I will. Point number one. Today's topic, once again, is how to turn every situation to your advantage. Believe that there is an advantage and seek it out. This is the number one thing that you can do when it comes to turning situations to your advantage. The first thing is the mindset. You know that over here at Work On Your Game, we always start and end with mindset and we always start and end with the person in the mirror. So the number one thing that you can do is put yourself in a frame of mind that there is an advantage somewhere within this situation and if I don't see it, I'm going to find it. That is your mentality. People who have this type of mentality, let me tell you something that happens with these type of people and something that happens because of these type of people, they usually identify and create advantages for themselves, which they then take advantage of. So I told you, people who look for opportunities and believe that there are opportunities usually find them and then they take advantage of them. Why is this? Is it because it's some kind of magic that believing that there is an opportunity and looking for it? Is that what you're saying, Jerry? You're saying some kind of magic that believing in an opportunity and looking for it is going to create, it actually helps create opportunities for people in life? Is that what you're saying? Yes, that's what I'm saying. People who believe that there are opportunities and actively seek them out usually are the ones who find them. And because they're actively seeking them out, they're, even if they're not the first ones to, even if they're not the best, let's say, at maybe taking advantage of it, they usually get to take advantage of it because they get to move on it first because they were looking for it. So they notice it because they were looking for it while everybody else was kind of half asleep. 
Everybody else might notice the opportunity, but by the time everyone else notices it, the opportunist has already taken advantage of it. So even if they're not the most talented or most skilled or even the, the best at whatever, they get to take the most advantage simply because they got to go first. In other words, as they say, the early bird gets the worm. So they already ate the worm before the bigger, faster, uh, better hunter birds even come around while the early bird already got the worm. This is the mindset that I'm gonna put you in. And yes, this is a mentality. When you put yourself in this frame of mind, all of a sudden you're gonna notice that you see more opportunity, you take advantage of more opportunity, and more opportunity just seems to show up in your life. And it's not magic that the opportunity shows up in your life. The reason why more opportunity seems to show up is simply because you're looking for it, or we all know how it goes. Whatever you focus on in life, you create. Whatever you're looking for, you will eventually find. Anything, it does not matter what it is. It can be positive, it can be negative, it can be something that'll take you forward, it can be something that'll take you back, or whatever you are focused on, you will get more of in your life. This is just a, a fact of the universe. The reason why this works, just so for those of you who don't understand why it works that way, is that this is absolutely not magic. This is not hocus pocus. The fact is, everything that you want in life and everything that you do not want in life, this is a very important point, they all exist in abundance. All the things you want exist in abundance. What do you want? You want friends, you want uh, help, you want success, you want admiration, you want money, you want uh, any type of achievements. All of those things it's, exist in abundance and they are available to you. All the things that you do not want, and you can list whatever they are, all of those things exist in abundance as well. So, why is it that when you focus on something you get more of it simply because while you are focused on it, let me back up actually before I get to that, the human brain is a automatic deletion machine because there are so many things that we could focus on because this is, we live in a world of abundance and there are so many things that we could focus on, the human brain does all of us a favor in that it basically deletes and causes you to ignore everything other than whatever you are focused on. So whatever you decide to focus on, the human brain basically causes you to ignore all the other stuff and causes you to focus on the thing that you're thinking about the most, the things that you are focused on the most. So whatever you want to create more of, all the human brain does is make, it, make you more aware of the fact that it exists. It doesn't create it. It doesn't come out of nowhere. It seems to be created. It seems to come out of nowhere, but it doesn't actually. It was always there. It's just you didn't notice it because your brain was not told to focus on it because you were focused on something else. So as soon as you change what you're focusing on, all of a sudden you start noticing it everywhere. Not that it just showed up. It's just that you just started paying attention to it. This is how it works. This is why your five forms of investment, time, money, attention, energy, and focus. What you're paying attention to is the direction that you're looking, focus is what you notice from what you're looking at. So when you change your attention, the, the zone of your attention, the focus of your attention, and there's a focus of your attention, what you're focusing on, all of a sudden you start noticing stuff. It did not appear out of nowhere. It was already there. It's just you didn't see it before. But then when you gave your brain new instructions, all of a sudden your brain notices new things. So the first step to finding anything in life is to be actively and constantly looking for it. The first step to finding anything in life is to be actively and constantly looking for it. Every situation in life has a flip side to it. Whatever way you initially look at it, there's an equal and opposite way of looking at that same situation. Be it positive, negative. You just have to train your mind to look for that flip side of everything or whatever other side. It doesn't have to be the complete opposite. You could be looking at the, the 90 degree side. Let me look at it from a different angle. Any situation you think is great, there are challenges that you might not be noticing. Any situation you think is challenging, there's an opportunity that is there if you was to look for it. When I was in college, for example, I spent my senior year not on the basketball team at Penn State Altoona. And I found the advantage that I could use in that situation, which was mentally, I decided I'm going to use this year to just work on my game and improve any skill weaknesses I have. Now, is it possible I could have done that during the season and been on the basketball team? Yes. But since I would have more time, because I didn't have any basketball team commitments, being I wasn't on the roster, I figured all right, I have more time and I can work on those weaknesses and make my game better and get ready for the next level. And when I finished school and didn't have any prospects for playing professional basketball, I put myself in a frame of mind that the situation I'm in right now is the perfect setup for the hero's journey, where I can look like a superhero in the future because I didn't play my last year. I was at the school that wasn't producing pro basketball players anyway. Didn't have any prospects coming out of college, so when I make it, this is going to be an amazing story. And hey, the rest is history. I put myself in a frame of mind that this is the opportunity for me, which many people could look at that same situation and say, forget it, this, this is it's pretty much over, it's a wrap for this guy. And that's what happens with most people in life. They get into a certain situation, they look at what they see as quote unquote reality, and they allow reality to dictate what's possible for them. 
your the change in mindset here is for you to decide that there is an opportunity for you that you can take advantage of and if you don't see it directly in front of you you either will look for it or if you look for it and you still don't see it maybe you just need to create it all of this is mental everything i'm saying here is mental this has nothing to do with the uh, objective facts of a situation it has nothing to do with any tangible resources and because it's all mental that means it's a choice that anyone who's listening to my voice right now can make right now in this moment you can make this choice right now nothing else needs to happen point number two today's topic once again is we're talking opportunism how to turn every situation to your advantage number two you must learn to control your emotions this is very important it's one of the things that robert green talks about in the introduction to my favorite book 48 laws of power when you are in a challenging situation the biggest real challenge that you have is how you react emotionally to what is happening in front of you your emotional reaction to situations can make them seem much more drastic and dramatic than they actually are because you allow your emotions to start running away with the with the narrative of the story so your job then knowing that your emotions are apt to do this they this is just what emotions do and this is for all people some more than others your job is to condition your emotions to not control you it doesn't mean you completely turn the you know turn off the light switch on your emotions all human beings have emotions nothing wrong with them your job is to just not allow them to control the this, this situation as i told you the emotions are great gas pedals but they are terrible steering wheels your, your emotions should not be steering the vehicle they should be the gas pedal that you use when it's time for you to move forward and you're ready to move forward then you get the emotions involved but until then uh, they got to stay quiet and stay out of the way i talked about this in episode 2155 as i said emotions great gas pedals terrible steering wheel so you can recognize in any emotion that you feel positive negative a neutral emotion however you decide to label it but at the same time you condition yourself to respond through the emotion not to react to what's in front of you the difference between a response and a reaction is that a response requires some thought after the stimulus a reaction there's no thought there's a stimulus and there's an immediate whatever comes next that's called a reaction something happens and then something happens a response is something happens then there's a space where you actually think then you take action based on something you thought about that requires the, the logical the logical should control the steering wheel the emotions are available for the gas pedal when you decide to use them controlling your emotions everybody is a conditioned skill in other words it's something that you work at on a day-to-day -day basis and you prepare yourself for doing this it's not something that you just decide to do once something happens this is why a meditation practice matters so much and that's why meditation is called practice because you are during the moments that you spend meditating every day whether it's five minutes or three hours the amount you spend meditating is practice for controlling your emotions and getting ready for the live game situation so to speak when you won't be able to stop everything and slow down but because you practice stopping everything and slowing down when a a high pressure situation happens you already know how to do it because you've been practicing it for 20 minutes or five minutes or 15 minutes every single day that's why meditation is that's the value of a meditation practice and if you didn't hear my episode on meditation that was episode 1476 why you need a meditation practice in your life so as you can tell as you can prepare yourself on a day-to-day -day basis through a meditation practice or through your mindset training you'll then be prepared when something does happen you need to call on your skills so mental conditioning is a practice folks that prepares you for the real life situation the same way that as i already said meditation does the exact same thing so this is what controlling your emotions is about practice controlling your emotions don't just say that you need to do it you need to actually put a practice a process in place for you to actually get better at it not have it just be something that you pay good service to as we said Point number three, today's topic once again is we're talking opportunism, how to take advantage and turn every situation to your advantage. Number three, maintain your flow and do not allow yourself to stagnate. The best way to keep the mind flowing, open and able to see possibilities is to keep things in motion. The mind works better when there is, is motion going. That's why it's called emotional energy in motion that's what emotion stands for energy in motion this applies to your physical as well as your mental so it's hard to come up with ideas to be creative or to solve problems when you are sitting around doing nothing 
and making very and taking very little physical movements you, you have very little physical activity going on it's hard to come up with ideas in that situation so what you should do instead is move your body and move your mind move your body and move your mind this is the reason why doing things like uh, clearing your mind like a meditation practice or any kind of mindset condition that you do for yourself will help you perform better physically and why doing things physically like working out or going for a walk or going for a run or just doing things to take care of your body helps you perform better when it's time to use your mind so if you work in an office job you probably have a better day at work when you start the day with a workout why because the mind and body are connected so that's why you want to keep things flowing open able to see possibilities and keeping things in motion all right the way that you keep things in motion is by keeping things flowing open and able to see the possibilities in front of you so move your body and move your mind so look at things from new angles take in new information see things from a different angle or in a new light all of these will help you open your mind to new possibilities and the opportunity for new ideas and new approaches which is exactly what is the exact thing that you might need especially when you're trying to be an opportunist is you got to keep your mind open to new ideas and new approaches because that new idea new approach might be the opportunity that you're looking for but you might not recognize it because it's not a package in a way that you are used to seeing things packaged but this is exactly what you need when you're looking for an advantageous angle to a situation is a malleable mind a fluid mind you're not stuck in any particular place you're not stuck in any particular frame of mind and you're open to whatever may whatever you may come across that's what the high level performers do and it's exactly why you need this possibility for noticing things in a new light when you're looking for an advantageous angle to a situation all this said let's recap today's class which is how to turn every situation to your advantage what we're talking about here is the mindset of opportunism which is seeing opportunity and everything and taking advantage of it even when you feel like you might not even be ready opportunists don't worry about that point number one believe that there is an advantage and actually seek out such advances the said advances first step is actively constantly looking for whatever you look for in life you will get whatever you are focused on you will create so when i was in college and not didn't have the situation that i wanted i found in my mind i figured in my mind here's the opportunity in this situation anyway and i started working that opportunity when i was trying to play pro and nothing was really working for me i said one of the many things i said to myself was well, well here's the opportunity that i'm going to use the fact that I'm unsigned, I'm going to use this opportunity as a chance to build up my library and put more uh, material in the back end of my social medias so that when I do get that call and basketball is popping off for me and I don't have as much time to make videos, I already got plenty of material to keep uh, wetting the appetite of the people who are already in my world. So this is really a, a mental way of just looking at things uh, differently than how the average person looks at them so that you can find the opportunity inside and this is all mental number two control your emotions when you're in a challenging situation the biggest challenge is how you react emotionally to what is happening in front of you and remember that your emotional reaction to situations can make them seem much more drastic and dramatic than they actually are you do not need to respond to anything that anyone else is saying you may have to respond to something that someone else is doing use your communication skills and don't allow your emotions, communication skills are logic, by the way, do not allow your emotions to grab the steering wheel. Emotions should never, ever, ever control the steering wheel of your vehicle. They will crash you straight into a wall at the fastest speed possible. You don't want that. What you rather have is your emotions working as the delivery people of your industry, of your job, of your business, whatever it is you're doing. Your emotions are just a delivery. That means you press the gas pedal with your emotions, but you control the steering wheel with your logic. So controlling emotions is a conditioned skill, something you work on on a day-to-day -day basis. It does not just happen. This is why meditation is a great practice for everybody because it allows you to clear your head and let some stuff in that you otherwise might not be able to figure out. Number four, I mean, excuse me, number three, maintain your flow and do not stagnate. The best way to keep the mind flowing, open, and able to see possibilities is to keep things in motion. This applies to physicality as well as mentality. It's hard to come up with ideas and be creative or to solve problems when you're sitting around doing nothing so look at things from new angles taking new information see things from a different angle and in a new light that's exactly what you need when you're looking for an advantageous angle to any situation 
Two things to do now, text me to get my daily motivation message free of charge straight to your phone every day at 305-384-6894. Again, 305-384-6894. And go to workonyourgameuniversity.com so you can get access to my Work On Your Game system. That is the entire nine-step process that I use to help professionals, business people, anyone who's focused on their ambition and their mindset and they want to go to another level and they want a system that helps them do it, my Work On Your Game system will help you with that. And you get live training calls with me every single week. That's all at workonyourgameuniversity.com. Work on your game. Dre all day.